I'm not just a soldier for Andy Beatty. I'm a soldier for every one of our children that have been unjustifiably taken away from us. They see her face and they know her name and I'm gonna ensure that they remember her name. My um, purpose and my goals and my reason um, for so many things has changed drastically in the past year. Um, I, have, I have a fight in me, I have a strength in me that I didn't have before. At the, this point, my, my sole purpose is to get justice for not only Andy Abidi, but every one of these beautiful, beautiful people. Our babies may have lost their breaths, but they have not lost their purpose. And if the loss of our babies can save somebody else's baby, their death was not in vain. And they would never, never close down the memory of our children. I'm, I'm going to be as peaceful as I can, and I'll sit back and I'll listen. But I just want people to understand and re be rest assured that I'm going to get up and I'm going to shout and I'm going to scream. I'm going to make as much damn noise that I have to make until this crap is a part of our history. This is supposed. This is not supposed to be black people's destiny. It's not supposed to be black girls' way of life. This is going to be black history. We were slaves, and they're trying to push us back. That ain't gonna happen. It's not gonna happen because we, as women, we built this country. My biggest fear would be not to march. My fear would be realizing that I didn't put my all to something that's right. That's something that we was born into a right of having. How could I not? How could I not?